Hey guys, it's General Heed here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a little fun trick you can do in Halo 3 ODST, and that is how to get back into your drop pod that you get out of at the beginning of the mission on Boss of Streets, which is basically right after you crash your drop pod after the uh, prepared drop cutscene. So, to do this, you will need to do it on co op, preferably, and have cowbell and tilts go on. You could do it on solo, um, but it'd be a lot easier if you did it on co op. And you'll see why later, but uh, the only requir real requirements you need is Cowbell Skull and Tilt Skull. Uh, really, Tilt is a little more optional, but uh, Tilt will give you a lot more tries by making uh, your vehicle uh, more durable, which you know is very important later. But anyways, so starting on Mombasa streets, uh, on MCC, if you set it to open streets, where all the supply caches are unlocked, uh, make your way to the su first supply cache with the Monkus on it. And then, uh, after that, just uh, make your way to whichever drop pod you want to get into. The easiest one i found to do so far is Player 2's drop pod. I have not tested this on Player 3 and 4's drop pod and 4 player co-op, but uh, at least for Players 1 and 2, Player 2's is a little easier to reach than uh, Player 1's. And that is because Player 2's drop pod is not as high above a barrier as Halo uh, Player 1's. So, yeah, just uh, make your way over here to Player 2's drop pod, and it's right up there, uh, in that on top of the building there. So, how do we get up there? Well, you will need to do a mongoose launch, which I will now show you how. You will need to reposition your mongoose uh, just right. So the interesting thing about the drop pods is that they are still vehicles, and they have vehicle seats you can get into. So. When you launch yourself back up, hold down the uh, button you used to get in the vehicles as you go up, and if you get close enough to the drop pod, then you will actually climb right back in to the drop pod. It has all the animations of getting into the drop pod, um, actually, which is very interesting because um, you, you're not supposed to, be to get back into the drop pod, yet you still have the animation. But you know, in Halo 2, for example, the elite drop pods, they have animations to get out, but not to get in, which is why it's really hard to get into a drop pod on Halo 2. But yeah, so let's take a look at that one more time in first person to see what it looks like. Happens pretty quickly there, but yeah, as you can see, it's uh, pretty easy to do. All you need is your friend to throw a grenade underneath the mongoose while you just simply stand still on it. And, you know, face the, uh, face the drop pod and you'll get launched up and just simply hop back in. Very easy trick to do. And it's a, it's a pretty cool thing you can show your friends or, you know, pretty fun thing you could do. But, like I said earlier, you could do it on solo if you want. You'd have to th chuck the grenade underneath the mongoose or plant it under there, and then quickly jump up and stand still and get launched. Which is doable, but uh, there, that, you know, that leaves more room for error. Well, no, I mean, that, <laughs> that leaves room for more potential errors, because you, know, you may not be able to jump up on a mongoose in time or something like that. So it, it's easier to set up with another player. But if you don't have anyone to do it with, then, you know, it should be possible by yourself. So, let's take a look at Player 1's drop pod now. Again, you know, it's pretty easy to do still, but personally I just find the second drop pod to be a little easier than the first one. But either way, uh, it's possible. Actually, in the case with this video that we did, uh, we had each player get the other player's drop pod, so... Uh, something that, you know, it's not normally supposed to happen, but now Player 2 is in Player 1's drop pod, and Player 1, who was me, was in Player 2's drop pod, which is Photos Chaos, um, who was helping me out with this video. But, yeah, so, once you're in a drop pod, there's really not anything else you could do in there. You, you could look around, uh, you could get shot at still and uh, die in the drop pod, but that's, uh, that's about it. Uh, it's not much else to do other than uh, just you know for a little cool factor at first but yeah so any of the players drop pods will work now it won't work on like the other ODST drop pods from the AI allies like Dare's drop pod or Buck's drop pod and so on those are fake drop pods and not actual vehicles like the uh, the drop pod that the players drop down in so yeah there you guys have it that is how you get back into your drop pod on Halo 3 ODST I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this video and found it to be interesting. And if you did, make sure to leave a like. Uh, leave a thoughts in the comments. Any thoughts you to check out or look into or test out, just let me know and I'll do, do my best to look into it. But other than that, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.